78, okay? The entire tour takes about 90 minutes. If you choose to hop off at any stop, there will be another boat in one hour, or this exact boat will be back in two hours. So it's up to you. The world is your oyster while you're here in New York City. Okay, if you take a look behind you, you can see the Sea Air and Space Museum. That's that great aircraft carrier that's formerly known as the USS Intrepid. It was an actual aircraft carrier that we've used. Uh, now it is a museum and it's got the Concorde in it. That's the plane Princess Diana used to come visit us on. It also has the SS-71, which is the fastest jet plane known to man. And there's also a submarine there. If you're into that sort of thing, you can actually just show your ID at the door and uh, you can walk the parameter for free. Lots of fun things to do here in New York City. So if you continue to look behind you, off in the distance you can see that bridge. That is the George Washington Bridge and that bridge connects New Jersey to Manhattan. It's in the Washington Heights area of Manhattan. That's the northwest side of the island. And it's the busiest bridge in the country. That bridge is designed by Cass Gilbert. He's quite an iconic architect. We've got several buildings of his here in New York City. I will point out some of them to you today. That one is one of his. It's two levels and 16 lanes, and it's the busiest bridge in the country. Over a million cars a year drive on that bridge. How are you guys feeling this morning? Good? Nice. Okay, so we're on the Hudson, the Hudson River, the freshwater river. It was discovered by Sir Henry Hudson. Sir Henry Hudson was an English explorer that was commissioned by the Dutch to find a shortcut to China, believe it or not. Back in 1624, spice trade was all the rage. Uh, so the Dutch hired Sir Henry Hudson. He was quite a famous explorer. and. Um, he actually ended up discovering this very river that we're on and this island, if you look to your left, you'll see this island of Manhattan. Now, the original name of Manhattan is actually Manahata. That's a Lenape Indian word and it means island of the hills because all of this was wooded hills. It was such a lush forest. It grew 80 feet tall. It was full of wildflowers and beavers and foxes and bears. It had so many wild grapes. The Norsemen explorers called it Vineland. That's how many wild grapes were here. And the Lenape Indians actually considered it a place of intoxication. That's what they called it because it had so many wildflowers. The aroma was so alluring. Uh, it still is a place of intoxication, maybe in a slightly different way, uh, but we love it. Manahata, I will, I will refer to it as Manahata quite often in this tour, that's its original name. So as we're moving along down the river, if you look to your left, of course, it's Manhattan or Manahata. To your right is New Jersey. I focus mainly on Manhattan. I have a few fun facts about New Jersey that I'll share on our way back up, but for now I'm going to focus on Manahata.